Ah, oh, and we're back. Guess what? We lost. <laughs> Told you we were going to lose. Well, yeah. I didn't tell you we were going to lose. I was going to I said, I bet you can guess what happened. Right. Uh, so did so, you guess that? You guess? <laughs> so, so anyways, uh, that was Wakening Lair. You saw it was, you saw it with uh, three people. Yep. Uh, we have played it with two people. We have played it with five people. Four people. Five. I thought it was me, you, the one lady teaching, and then the other lady who kind of... We played it at the game night. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. He forgot five people, Yeah. three people, and two people. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't won. Nope. We came really close once, though. In the two-player one. Yeah, we, were, we came within one cube of beating the monster on the last space literally one mm. hit point of the monster in the last space and we actually and that was at pax we actually went back to the booth the next day to make sure that we played the monster right and yeah. we did so we did everything right but yeah. we lost anyways um me super big thumbs up on this game for me Thumbs up from me as well. Okay, just a thumbs up from him. Super big thumbs up from me. No, I mean... I, no, I, I, he no. already said just a thumbs up for him. So <laughs> mine's a super and his is just an okay. <laughs> the Mr. I Love Dungeon Crawls, just I okay. I do, and I really like it. I was just saying <laughs> thumbs up. I thought this was a, a binary thumbs up, thumbs <laughs> down thing. No, so um, <laughs> honestly, it, it's, it's one of those things where yeah, I feel like I can't say enough good things about mm -hmm. it. I like difficult, and it's oh, really... That's one of our favorite things. Yeah, it's really um, things... The luck has to go your way, and the strategy has to go your way. We suck at dice rolling, so <laughs> we've already got, <laughs> the already got odds against us. I thought the design of the game was great. The bosses, yeah. the way that they thought out the individual zones and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I like how they're all unique, yep. too. The, That's so cool. The, art, the artwork, for me, is spectacular. It's got a little bit of that whimsical flair. I love the fact that there are so many different heroes. Yep. I love the fact that you can go up to six yeah, that's in this really game. Cool. Um, because I know a lot of people now are kind of like, our game group's five to six, what yeah. can we play? Well, I, I do feel like it might be, in a way, I might feel like it, and, it, might, make and, it, it might actually yeah. make it harder because you have to decide who's going to get all the good stuff because odds are every single person's not going to roll good on their turn. And you're not going to get that many turns per player. That's anymore. what I mean. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, Before the boss is going to come out, and people are probably see, only going to have, like, one or two people. See, you got you to be really careful with your abilities, how you use yep. them, how you stay away, who gets what items, all that kind of stuff, and vice versa when it's only two people. Um, because then there's only two people to die, too. Right. I mean, would, in the reverse with the six, it's like... You better be careful with those six so that nobody dies, et cetera, yep. et cetera. Um, I, you know, I, I like, which I think I already said, I like the fact that it's 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 simplistic. You lay out the, the cards, the monster spawning is straightforward, easy, nothing mm -hmm. changes. The boss, even though he's unique, the mechanics mm -hmm. are the same. And so they put all that simple stuff together to make a really hard game yep uh, and when we were at the booth suppose they told us that expansions were coming so oh, I, when she said that i was like uh more bosses please yeah so that's really cool he wants more bosses and we haven't we beat had, one yet one. <laughs> so i you know I, i'm all for more bosses and more heroes which they could easily do i mean you could repeat heroes and just give them a different right. different ability in this game um, I th I also really thought the way that they did the hit points with the life was super unique. Yeah, I like. That. I haven't. I if something else has done that before, I don't remember, mm -hmm. or I haven't played something that did it like that. But I thought it was super unique because. Oh yeah, because in each character, like. The ones that have sixes for the top number, like, it's going to be tough to get a hit on them. But then there's but, the people who have six at the very end. Is right, like, which I'm, made sense for, like, right. a barbarian. You keep smacking him in the head, he gets more pissed off. Right. So, by the time you've smacked him in the head so much that he's like you and stupid, <laughs> he just swinging it at you. Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> yeah. Do you feel bullied? No. <laughs> no. Help me. He hasn't let me leave his basement in months. <laughs> um. So. So. Anyways, like I said, I. I, I can't think of anything that I would have wanted really any more in it. The components were great. The box is great. I you know we got we got magnets going on here. All the the cards are nice. The the only thing that I'm really curious about, but I don't want to kind of force it because then it's like well you're forcing it. Is if somebody rolls a twelve super early in the game, like does that just mean you lose? Probably because. <laughs> I'd like to see that situation, because if, if it's turn two and you roll the 12, then, yeah, I don't think you're, you're going to win. Which brings up an interesting question, because if you read the rules, it actually doesn't specifically say that it wakes up on a 12. Really? I thought yeah, it said... It does not. I thought it was if you roll the 12, then the boss awakens. It says... It, say, it, doesn't, it doesn't specifically, like... It doesn't lay it out, so to so to speak. It says, when the monster's terror awakens card is drawn from the monster deck, the following happens. It says, when the card is drawn from the deck, this happens. Okay. And then early on in the the rule book, it says, when you roll for the room opening, if you roll a twelve, do not awaken a room. Or draw a monster card. And then it just says, go see Monsters Terror Awakens. Yeah, so it's kind I of... I mean, you have to make the assumption right. that if it's pointing you there, they want you to awaken it. Right. But it kind of doesn't spell it out. It just says, go see it awaken. So yeah. we put it together and said, it awakens. Right. <laughs> Which makes sense. It just... I. That's the only part of the rule book that I felt like could have yeah. been just like a slightly bit clearer. It's like... If you roll a 12, it awakens. Go to the awakening part. Right. Because when you read the awakening part, it says, when you draw the card. Right. Well, you haven't drawn the card yet. All you did was roll the dice. Right. And it should have been more explicit. Either it wakes up or it doesn't. Right, because you... And, and here's... And if if uh, Rather Dashing is watching this, here here is what we were thinking in some of the, like, well, what ifs. Like, so... When you draw the card, we know that nothing spawns, the monster comes awake, no more rooms awaken after that, blah, blah, blah. But how about if you rolled the 12, what if the room actually does spawn and the monster wakes up? That's true. Yeah, exactly. So there could have been some differences, like maybe it's worse if you actually roll the double sixes. Doesn't need to be worse. I'm just saying. Yeah, I was gonna that, say that, that the monster just, wakes up that soon, yeah, it's just, gonna be bad like, enough. Because the monster awakens specifically says that it doesn't nothing ever happens in room twelve. We were just wondering, is yeah. there any event that something does happen in room twelve? Right. Because why not? Because it's you might as well kill us a little bit more. Because we're not dead enough. <laughs> Anyways. But that was the only thing that I was kind of curious about. Yeah, there was a, happen, Honestly, so. uh, honestly I, I felt like the rules were pretty spectacular yep. for this, especially for... Um, I don't think I own any other Rather Dashing games, so it was nice to see a smaller publisher with very yeah. clear rules, because yep. I think a lot of them miss the mark on that sometimes, because mm -hmm. um, I think they get involved in playtesting, and it's like, oh... I know exactly what this means, and then you overlook the fact is that Jeb and I might not know exactly what you mean, or we might have so many other, well, this game does it like this, and this game does it like this, which one are you talking about? Right. And that's a problem with the board game uh, hobby, is that once you learn the board games, you become so accustomed to reading rules exactly like they are worded, and you learn to find little words like may mm -hmm. or must. And and they change the whole meaning of exactly what's going on. So, um, anyways, that was about the only thing we found in there, and we're pretty sure that you know from we, what we we've done it. and we everything that we've it. looked that, that we uh, that we played it right. And honestly, I can't wait until they add some expansions to this. Um, we still got a lot to play. <laughs> we still got a lot to play, but I've we've pulled this out with um, new players. 
Oh, and first time, like kind first of... time players, which makes it nice, but it's still hard. Uh, so, um, what do you got for people that don't like uh, that type of thing? Our normal spiel. Mm, well, there's the people who don't like the co-op stuff. Yeah. Because in this one, you have to work together. Because yeah. if one person dies, you all lose. But, so. Right. So 100% co-op. If, if you not want even any a, kind of competitiveness, yeah. then you're not. Don't yeah. go here. There is yeah. no competitive in this. There's no. No, when you kill a monster, it goes to the discard, so you're not, you know, it's not like you can be like, oh, I killed the most monsters in the end, anything like that. 100%, get, kill the guys. It's not super complicated, and I know people do like things that are very intensive thinking, like, oh, I, if I go this path and yep. this and this and this, this is pretty much, you roll dice, and if the number is yep. matched, then yep. you Pay get attention it. to your powers, those might, I mean, that's the biggest strategy, right. once you get... Uh, certain treasure cards and who you pick for your person could make a, a big, right? Big difference. I'm not saying it's a dumb no, game. no, no, no. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I, I'm just. But yeah, it's not as it's I, not like a TI thing where you sit yeah, down and spending like 20 yeah, minutes should, trying to figure out your whole. Right. Current. I mean, there's strategy, but it should be so easy on the fly that it should be fine. Right. It should be a matter of like, ooh, where should I go, and can you help me out? That's about it. Right. Um, but that's about it that I could think of. Um, I think it's great for people who want a quick game. Yep. I think it's great for people who want a game that can hold six people. Yep. Because not a lot of... A game I mean, hold a lot of people, especially at this level. Right. Like, in terms of intro things, I feel like it's also... It could be a, um, a an intro game to some a little bit more complex mm -hmm. uh, mechanics. Even though they're not complex, it gives you an overview of... Uh, working as a team and paying attention to your powers and how can I manipulate this so that it benefits other people, all those types of things in a very uh, simplistic way, but still it, still extremely difficult, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's probably great for if you have kids that they've just been playing kind of like kid kind of games and they they're getting kind of bored with it or you can see that they're growing out of those that stage then give them like let them try this because yep. it's still a little bit above love that level but there's like it's not easy and yep. they'll learn that they, yep. you don't and win all the not, time and there's not <laughs> a lot of reading and stuff like that yeah. the reading that there is that you could probably just you know with a with a younger child you could be like this is what it does. And, and they're going to remember it, yeah. like, just like that. Just like they do with anything else that you show them. They're just, they're just going to lock, lock it in there. Yeah. And even if you need to prompt them a couple times, that it's, it, it'll be fine. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't have, I mean, other than the whole, if you don't like co-op games, right. I, don't, I don't see a whole lot of flaws in this because... I mean, even the time on the game is about right. Oh, yeah, I mean, the time's like, really... It's just, it's got a lot of, it's firing on all cylinders, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, That's probably why Mickey bought it right away. And I did, that we sat I, down I had and feel, played it right I, away. I had a feeling, <laughs> like, when we were there, that it was gonna, it was gonna get into the uh, purchase um, basket. Right. It would, it, as, I mean, we sat there long enough and listened to it, so... I don't, I mean, I don't know what, the person teaching us would have had to say something really bad at that point yeah. for me, not, because it was just looking like, with what everybody, with what the two guys that were playing it at the time, it was like, well, this seems like it's, it's tough, and blah, 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 and, and somehow they won, I think they cheated, but, <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, plus, plus the girl that was teaching them, or lady, or what? Can you say girl without being offensive? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, she was really nice. She was cool. She taught us, and uh, and and when she was guiding them, she would be like, "Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Yeah. Don't forget that. You can put that there." And I'm like, "How many times have you played this game?" <laughs> Anyways, a actually, everybody at the booth uh, hyped it up too. They had all all played it a lot. So I feel like I'm rambling now. If you can't get the idea that. I thought this thing was great, and it, and it, uh, I have a feeling it's going to come out a lot, um, yeah, just because of the accessibility to who can play it, um, it's things, a winner. Things to remember, uh, 
think the biggest one is knowing what the your symbols yep. are pressing on and when you get the attack bonus. That's the biggest part that confuses everybody. Mm. I know we went over it in mechanics, but you just have to remember if your main character card matches a symbol of the room you're in, you get a plus one yep. on your rolls. Period. Doesn't matter what attack you use, etc., etc., you get the plus one. The press on is slightly different. The press on is attack specific. The attacks are either on your character or on your weapon. So whichever one you choose, if it matches the weakness of the character, you are allowed to press on. Not explaining press on right now because you yeah, already yeah. know that. But those are the two biggest things that are like even Jeb and I like. Yeah. What is that again? At the beginning, all right, we pretty much got it down there now. There was one point where Mickey it was explaining it to Gary, I think, and it just clicked with me, and I was like, oh, yeah, it all makes sense now. <laughs> so, Yeah, but even just to show how easy it is to mess it up, even Jeb was like, wait a second, Mickey, he's not in the right room, and I went, oh, yeah, you're right, and then I was like, wait a second, that's wrong. I went back to the rule book, and I went, no, the room isn't attack specific. The room right. is person Specific. Yep. There's a big difference. So you always get that room bonus if you have the DNA. Right. And the press on is attack specific. I feel like that is 100% the most difficult part to remember in this game. Otherwise, right. everything is pretty uh, easy. The only other thing I would say is make sure that um, when you're attacking monsters, uh, it doesn't matter which monster you attack, but the damage goes from left to right. You have to hit it in order, right. unless you're the monk. Right. Um, and then I, we can't get into all the different monsters because they all have different requirements, but in general, they're different zones that you have to yeah. um, concentrate on, and depending on the card, it'll tell you how the zones work. Sometimes it's like you have to complete a zone or you know or whatever so they're all different that way but the zones i think were one of the things that both of us looked at and went that's that's awesome oh yeah that's really cool yeah um it was just I, you know it wasn't because it felt like an old video game yeah or not even an old one they still do it now it's like you yeah, have you to gotta hit take the, his arms you gotta off take his arms off, off or then... you have to hit him 14 times in the head before he dies and then right. oh wait i'm not dead yet yep <laughs> That type of thing. So, um, uh, anyways, I got nothing else. Yeah, I think that's about it. Everything, like you said, is pretty easy to remember aside from that. So, okay, so talk um, to them about subscribing and stuff. All right, yes. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, or if you like us, <laughs> then please subscribe. Or if you like me. If you like Mickey, I'm pretty sure there's more people who like you than me. <laughs> I doubt. <laughs> but um, I do like to sign my signature, Mickey Greater Than Jeb. Yeah, he, he puts <laughs> he that in that. everything now. Where did he get that idea? That was funny. But anyway, please subscribe to us if you want to see more of these videos. We cover all kinds of games. We're trying to get through, uh, or we're trying to start up different kind of like series where we'll play a game multiple times and you can see how that goes. So yep. we'll, we'll be doing that. Um, Trying anyways. Yeah. If, if there's any comments that you have, please leave them in the comment section of the video. Anything you want to see us play specifically yep. let us know even if it's within a game say you want to see a certain hero yeah let us know we will try to replay a game wouldn't be past recording another gameplay of that i, yep. I want to play it again mm -hmm. so um and then what else the you have a tip cup coffee the coffee coffee, uh, coffee. Uh, it's in the link cup. in the video description if you want to yep. uh, support us because we would definitely like to get uh better equipment probably upgrade time. the equipment yeah because <laughs> Most Work of the out. time, Mickey's like, Jeb, the camera's tilted. Tilted, Jeb. Jeb. Tilted. And last time I was like, I was like, damn it, Jeb, I'm in the dark again. I think like, I'm, I'm in like, the dark in this I, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you're doing that on purpose, aren't you? You're trying to shut me out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But other than that, I think that's everything for Awakening Lair. Lair. Yeah, so uh, go buy this. Yeah, Mickey really likes it. Yep, so I, I do. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Boards and booze. Booze and boards. With Mickey and Jeb.